USA, as long as USA is vetoing the UN Security Council resolutions, the issue of Israel and Palestine will never be solved. If I were to, I were in the boots of Sri Ramaphosa, I would use the style of Madiba. So on General Bantu Holomisa's comeback into the politics of SA, um, I think it's been really interesting listening to him and his mission uh, for his party. Um, when you go to the podcast with Penwell, the Black Pen, there's an extensive discussion. He speaks about a lot of interesting things and he's a really intelligent person. But here in this video, he I think he goes head to head with um, President Ramaphosa and the ANC in their strategy in trying to resolve the crisis going on in Gaza presently. Let's listen to what he speaks about the ANC strategy in bringing peace uh, between Israel and Palestine. And I'll be back for some analysis. Now, severing yeah. ties with Israel, <laughs> what do you think? No, I don't think uh, the issue of Israel will be solved by one political party. Mm. That issue needs a national debate properly. Yeah. Not that in parliament where they use numbers. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, the USA, as long as USA is vetoing the UN Security Council resolutions, the issue of Israel and Palestine will never be solved. If I were to, I were in the boots of Sri Ramaphosa, I would use the style of Madiba, where, for instance, in Burundi, he called Clinton to say, let's go and solve the issue in Burundi. It worked. Congo, it worked. But what's wrong in Sri Ramaphosa? But anyway, he's only left with eight days. So what's wrong? If he, if, if he had called Hamas, first Hamas and Palestine, PLO, yep. you need to make sure that those people, that two group, they speak one language. Hamas and Palestinians. Once a PLO rather, once they agree, then you can say, what are the demands? Then you bring Israel, you bring USA, you bring South Africa must share that session. I'm sure we can get some somewhere. We can get somewhere. NHI quickly. Um, you did say earlier on, you touched a bit on it, the, the implementation. That's always that's always the issue. But the UDM's view on NHI. The UDM would welcome any policy which would improve the health system of South Africa, which would include the poorest of the poor. But right now, we have to be careful. We don't, I don't trust these fellows. You remember it was the same noise when they wanted to build Kusile and, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and Medupi. Yeah. But it turned out that it was a cash cow for ANC through Chancellor House. You see now we are getting uh, fuel being raised almost every month. But it turned out that ANC through Bato Bato Trust and Tebe Investments, they are partners with Shell. So I don't trust these hasty programs. But let us pray that uh, come the June this year, the results will be announced and that the ANC will not get a, a, a majority. Yeah. Then if there will be a government of national unity or coalition government, we will be able to allow those who are complaining about the NHI to come and make a presentation. We cannot risk and, and, uh, and, and pretend that there are no problems. We have to iron them out. But the implementation of that act, of this bill, Strictly speaking, it will only take place after three or four years because the infrastructure we have right now in the townships, in the rural areas, will not help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Another really sensitive video, but, you know, whenever we wake up, we sleep and we wake up, um, the news on the internet and everywhere always really reminds us of the realities of our world, being the fact that there are crises, really um, crises affecting every part of the world, in Ukraine, in Gaza, and um, the ANC being almost like the only uh, political 
government, in the government in the world anyway, that seems to be standing for the Palestinian people. I know there are others anyway, but the, AN, the ANC has been really vocal about it. Actually speaks a lot about, you know, their support for Palestine and, you know, their remembrance of what South Africa is arguably is has been argued to have gone through in his history of apartheid and um general bantu holomisa here is really being pragmatic in his assessment of the anc strategy and he speaks about how you know the two-state solution right has to be the objective in other words um what then makes it really difficult for the anc to sort of like represent the middle ground that calls both parties of this conflict to sit down and then discuss. It's a really challenging one. It's been achieved actually earlier on, uh, which American president actually did that. So was it, a, I think it was, um, I don't know if it's Bill Clinton or one American president anyway, I think was able to call the PLO leader and uh, president of Israel at the time. And there was some kind of like a truce in a way, a meeting point or something about something of that regard. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some research about that and um, try to achieve peace in bringing these two agents together to talk about what's really going on. But um, I think that didn't really last long and we devolved again into a crisis. So this is uh, my suspicion on, <laughs> on if any attempt by the ANC would go down that route. And by the way, I really do not think Israel would be ready to listen to any kind of appeasement of that regard coming from South Africa anymore because I suspect that Israel, you know, feels uh, threatened and feels, you know, not in favor with the ANC's um, approach in uh, earlier approach in 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 finding a truce between um, Israel and Palestine, you know, so far, especially with the case in the I ICC and the I ICC calling for ar for the arrest of uh, President Benjamin Netanyahu. So um, I really don't know if the if Israel would want to listen to you know that kind of campaign but we never can tell we don't know but um what do you guys think about general holomisa's um suggestion and his uh you know this 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 assumed solution to the crisis in the middle east share your thoughts share your thoughts in the comments thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video please share and like and subscribe because that's the way you support Kwasemi as a channel, an Afrocentric channel, uh, where we try to understand um, deeper issues in African history and hopefully develop um, a collective intelligence on how we wish to build the Africa we want to see as people of Africa. See you in the next one.